60 seconds, the new draft report on UFOs. The Pentagon's expert warning about a possible mothership coming close to Earth. Stay with us. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We are starting <clears throat> at verse 7. King James Bible. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now lets will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. So we have a situation right now unfolding slowly but surely of a time of great, great deception. From the devil and his fallen angels and his people that he works through, which are the kings and the rulers of the earth, and also strong delusion being sent and a lie by God himself on top of that. And that's what this all is. The alien deception. You see, we know as Bible believers that there are fallen angels and demons, as well as good angels and God. And we know the truth behind what is really going on. But the world is being set up by the devil and by God. Let me reread that. For this cause, now it says, For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion and a lie. Now, what cause was it? Because they were filled with unrighteousness. Because they had pleasure in unrighteousness. They didn't receive the love of the truth. So the devil is on top. And on top of him is God. Sending this massive delusion to the world. And let's make no mistake about it. It's coming. And the day that it breaks open, breaks loose, I believe it will be a day when we get up and it'll be like Independence Day and you'll look outside and you'll see things in the air that are not hiding anymore. And what you're going to be seeing is real technology. Real technology. You see, when you study the book of Enoch, that is not in the Bible. It speaks about the fallen angels teaching man the, the eternal secrets of heaven. This technology that they have. Look at what I'm using right now, a cell phone. How does this work? All we know is plastic and metal. Who put? How does it really work? This is amazing technology. And it was not contrived by... Men who came from monkeys that were standing around in a cave. 
its its really origins is supernatural, spiritual. And you will be seeing real technology. And you will be seeing things that are not as they seem. It's just going to be a time of total deception and delusion. And for people who don't understand the deception and delusion, they're going to buy right into it. Oh, these are our space brothers from outer space. Right? These are our friends. They're here to help us. Right? And then when Jesus and the angels come back, the good angels, and as well as us, come back with Jesus, the world is going to be told that those are the bad aliens. Right? That's how you get the world to turn on Jesus and the powers of heaven. You tell the world after after they're assimilated with the fallen angels and the devils and the demons that, oh, the ones coming next, yeah, we have to protect you from them because they're actually the bad guys. I tell you guys now, what's coming is coming. You've seen the clip. You see the clips. It's not something that independent nobodies like us talk about on our channels day to day anymore it's on the mainstream news and it's there for a reason because we are approaching a time that the bible says in matthew 24 that there will never ever be a time like this it will be so perverse so deceptive and in God's eyes so wicked that you have to be saved and being walked through it and held by God in order to know the truth. He is the one who sanctifies you. The people who do it on their own they're going to fall for it. Oh, it's technology. Right? Technology will save us. Artificial intelligence will save us. These aliens with the smarter technologies, they're going to offer us eternal life as well. Or maybe 500 years of life. There it is. We can transfer our conscience to a robot or to another human being. Or we can... Do it like the movie The Lawnmower Man, where we can transfer our conscience into the internet. It's all in the movies. They've already told us pretty much exactly what's coming in the movies. Terminator, Independence Day, Lawnmower Man, Predator. They have released their technology for invisible cloaks, just like on The Predator. We have seen the viral videos going around of the new invisibility cloak material from Hyperstealth Biotechnology Corporation, refracting light around target objects and obscuring them from view without the need for a power source. We are here, we are getting even more here, and this video, maybe somebody will see it and wake up to the real truth, to the Bible, to Jesus. To all the deception, God bless.